My name is Jacob. I go to um, JCHS, and uh, for my starter project, I built the Simon Says machine, um, which, you know, it works. It's a, it's a Simon Says machine. Um, you know, I don't know how to show this. Whatever, it, it works. Take it on good faith. Um, and so, basically, um, this was kind of challenging because this is the first time that I've ever soldered something. Um, so you can't see probably on the video, but some of the, the soldering, especially like over here and um, like over here uh, are pretty rough. I had to redo it a couple times, but eventually uh, I kind of got the hang of it. Um, something that I kind of found easier, it's pretty easy to assemble given the set of instructions. Um, not a whole lot of technical uh, complexity there, um, so long as you're just following the instructions. Um, and basically, the way that this works is pattern, that um, power flows from the batteries um, through both, um, not only the capacitors over here, but also the resistance um, band over, the resistor over here. Um, and what that does is the capacitors basically like make sure that fluctuations in the, the batteries themselves don't mess with the like circuit downstream. Um, and the resistor just regulates the amount of power coming through to make sure it's not going to like overload anything or anything like that. Um, the buzzer just kind of creates the, the noise for the game that you heard earlier that, um, as well as other stuff. Um, you know, the, obviously the switches just kind of turn the circuit on and off. Um, there are LEDs under this pad which create um, these lights like that you can see flashing. Um, and then other than that, it's just um, the, the battery um, holders, rings, whatever they're called, uh, they just kind of tr give power to the circuit, and it's just, other than that, uh, screws, um, and these bits like that go on the bottom of the screw to actually hold it to the circuit board, and the button pad itself. Um, and that, is that everything I need to do?